got there. It's almost 9 a.m. so I need to take her OUT. But, hello. It's Monday today, it's also the last day of May. Oh, why do I always like, feel like I have to yawn and then my eyes start crying? Oh, I'm gonna take her out and then I'll be back. It's 2.20 right now. I am just letting my hair air dry, but I feel like I've been doing a lot and then not doing anything at the same time. That's a summary of what my life feels like right now. But then I look back at it and then I feel like I was actually doing a lot, but I just feel disorganized at the moment. This is what I'm doing right now. This box had all my clothes that I was selling on Depop, but there's been certain things that have just been up for a long time. And at this point, I think I'm just gonna donate them um, because this is taking up like the walking space in my in not my closet or like the storage room i'm going through everything and this is a donation bag i feel like i should just throw everything in the donation bag but like the jackets are nice like this jacket is like worth a couple hundred dollars like, these are nice zara jackets i don't know i finished going through the depop stuff and i decided to keep some things on so this is everything that's going to be donated um, the jackets and stuff are still available if you guys want to check them out This is just more stuff that I'm donating just like random things So I'm probably gonna drop these off at value village today And then I still have a ton of stuff in my car that I need to bring up So I'm gonna try to organize most of that today. Oh my goodness <laughs> Whenever <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing whenever I get into my car. I feel so overwhelmed <laughs> because well first of all Look how much crap I have in my car. This is like everything that I didn't know what to do with or needs to be thrown out or donated. I do have like three bags of dog food that I'm gonna donate to a shelter. So I'm gonna try to do that today as well. Um, but also I have a huge crack in my windshield and I've been meaning to get my windshield replaced for the longest time, but I just keep putting it off. Every time I get in my car, I'm reminded of it. And I know that's gonna be freaking expensive. I also need to get a new laptop. I need to get a new blender. I need a freaking vacation. Just running to Value Village and then I'm also gonna find or see if the SPCA is open and I'm gonna drop off the food there. We're back home now. I feel good about getting that stuff out of the house. Like there's still a bit of clutter in different areas but so much progress from when I moved in. Oh my gosh. This was another thing I wanted to mention in this video. I'm trying out this herbal Chinese medicine. I'm very interested to see if I notice any difference taking these. I have no idea how you pronounce that, but it's called ladies tonic. And it's just supposed to help with like hormone balance, regulating your cycle. Um, there was a big description on it. I can't remember everything that it says, but I got it off this website that honestly looked a little sketchy. Then I looked at a lot of reviews and it seems legit. So you take five of these two to three times a day, which might seem like a lot, but they're really tiny. They just look. They're like tiny little tablets. During my move, I kind of stopped taking my other supplements. So I decided I'm just gonna like try this out for now while I'm not taking anything else. Cause then I can actually tell if like this is doing something. So yeah, I'll keep you posted. They also have so many different blends for different types of things. Um, there's one for skin that I kind of wish that I got. Anyways, just thought I'd let you know and I'll keep you updated. You guys, this stuff is no joke. <laughs> I woke up this morning and I got my period. I hadn't had it in over two months and I literally just started taking this two days ago. Every single time I take something and it starts working, I'm always like, was it just a coincidence? But at this point, like it always happens after I start taking something or doing something. So yeah, I literally wasn't taking anything else and I just had this for two days. So that's crazy. I'm really happy that those herbs are working, but I have the worst cramps right now. Like, just punch me in the stomach, why don't ya? I just wanna lay down and die for a minute. I just stopped by our old landlord's house because they picked up some packages that were dropped off at the old house. Um, so this one here is just a new flavor of the Built Bar. Um, I'm actually done my partnership with them. I worked with them for like several months. Oh no, this is a mix box, what? All right, well now I'm stocked up on another mix box. I thought this was gonna be a new flavor that we had coming out. We also have a package from Kara Stas. Okay, so they teamed up with 437. 
So we have a bandeau bikini. I don't wear bandeaus that often, but they're really good for tanning. Oh, and these bottoms are honestly the most flattering bottoms ever. They're so comfy and just like the way that they sit on your body, they're perfect. So I can actually like mix and match this with all my other black tops. Multi protection for sun exposed hair. We also have a hair mask and a shampoo. So we have a whole line. All right, I finally dealt with my windshield. I had booked in an appointment and the guy that I spoke with was so helpful and got it sorted so easily. And I am so happy because my insurance covers it. My deductible is only $200 and the windshield would have cost, I think it was gonna be like $1,800. So that makes me feel really good that that's not gonna be an expensive replacement. I just feel like I have so many, um, not necessarily bills, but like I'm choosing to spend money on these things, but like, did I already talk about this? But I need a new blender. My laptop is breaking down. That's kind of a necessity. It's like a business. I can write it off on my taxes. I need to buy like certain furniture pieces. I've really just been investing in myself recently, which is worth every penny but it's still expensive. I've been doing therapy about once a week or once every two weeks. I'm doing a laser hair removal uh, and I'm actually just gonna go in for a consult in, I have to leave in 30 minutes. Um, Cause I think I wanna do something with my face. Um, I'm actually getting a consult for a thread lift. I'm very like on the fence about it like i don't know if i'm gonna go through with it but i'm kind of just interested because just like the lower part of my face when i talk i just have a lot of like expression lines which i've always had and i don't think it's an aging thing it's just the way that my face is so i kind of just want to like tighten the lower part of my face but also i have a narrow face and i think a lot of people will do a thread lift to kind of um like slim your face, which I don't want to slim my face. I just want to like tighten it. I don't know if I would do like the eyebrow part, but when I smile, my eyes are starting to like hood a tiny bit in the corners. Joys of aging. Um, but anyways, so gonna go in for a consult, see what they say. I kind of want to get my lips touched up again too. The last time I got them done, I did not like how he did it. Now I have like a permanent like little dark spot. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but not a huge fan. My eyebrows also need some attention and maybe like a facial. I'm just going all out here, okay? I know these things aren't necessary, but these are things that I just want to do for myself. I also signed up for a gym. So I have a gym membership again. I have a class tonight. Classes just started back up today. So happy. I would not have signed up at this gym if the classes weren't open because I literally, like the membership's pretty expensive. And if the classes weren't running, it wouldn't really be worth it. They're not allowed to do high intensity classes yet. So it's mostly like strength training, like lower intensity strength training and like yoga, Pilates types of things, which I'm totally fine with because you can do your own cardio, like in the cardio section. So I'm so happy to be back because um, I definitely like, kind of like fell off the train with moving and everything. Time to get back into like my fitness routine. I'll probably start up like my fitness update videos again because I haven't been doing those. Okay, I just rambled on for quite a while there. I have one more unboxing for you guys. I just got this in from Sephora. I ordered this like a couple days ago. So it got here pretty quick. First up we have the Watermelon Glow PHA BHA Pore Tight Toner from Glow Recipe. I've heard so many good things about this. I think I saw a TikTok that sold me on this. Classic, I know. But this is actually the first product that I'm ever trying from Glow Recipe. I'm also trying out this lash serum from, I don't know if it's Grande or Grand. Anyways, four month supply lash serum. I think it's Grande Lash. I'm gonna give that a go. And then the last thing I got is this new face mask. It's from Origins called Clear Improvements. I love a good face mask, but I don't really have any in my collection right now that I love. I just finished up the Manuka Honey one from, what's the brand? I'm sure some of you know which one I'm talking about. So that's my little Sephora haul. Good morning. I'm kind of, first of all, what am I gonna do with my hair today? And was I wearing this shirt yesterday? Anyways, I just threw this on because I'm going to take Tika for a W-A-L-K, but I want to finish my coffee first. I'm kind of filming two vlogs today because 
Oh, my battery is gonna die. Oh no, I need to get this ready. Shoot. Carla and Laura are coming over and we're gonna film a truth or drink and I'm already kind of regretting uh, like picking that as Friday's video. That's going down. I'll have like little bits of it in this vlog. Um, we're gonna go to the beach after and then I don't really know what else. That's the plan for today. It's literally like work and play at the same time. Everything I own is dying electronic wise, so I need to charge everything right now. Our special guests are here. Hi. <laughs> Hello. We just finished our truth or drink. Laura had to leave because she's getting an eyelash fill, but I'm here with Carla still. Hi. And now our friend Sarah is here and we're gonna go to the beach. Mm. Oh, sorry, that's in Spanish. <laughs> so we're just gonna pack up our bags, head to the beach. Um, it's super hot out, but also it's weird because like I don't see anyone at the beach over here. Can we? Oh my goodness, I have sand in my mouth. I'm like crunching sand. I'm doing a terrible job at vlogging while I'm out. <laughs> That's my phone telling me it's bedtime. It is 9.45. I'm gonna go to bed soon though. I'm gonna wash my face, brush my teeth, maybe have some tea, watch an episode of... Desperate Housewives or Grey's Anatomy. Oh my gosh, today was so hot. Like it feels like summer, which is such a nice feeling. And just being able to be out in the sun, getting the vitamin D, like socializing, like life feels somewhat normal now. But I'm pretty tired. I'm excited to just like wind it down. So, all right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. It is now Thursday. I need to take my car in this morning to get the windshield replaced. It's like eight o'clock right now and I need to bring it in by 10. So I think I'll drive it over, I'll bring Teeks and then I'll walk back because it's like 30 minutes. It's like a 30 minute walk. And then I just have a lot of editing to do so I'll just do that at home. But I also need to do like a little grocery shop. Maybe I'll just go to the grocery store that's like right by my house. So I'm taking this in now, but this is the crack goes all the way along and up there. It's actually funny because I got this crack first and I thought that this one was gonna ruin my windshield. Um, and then this whole thing started from a really, really tiny one down there. But yeah, so I've been driving with that for like quite a while, so. Time to get some fresh glass. I've pretty much been editing all day. It's 4.30 now. Um, the only other thing I've done is get my windshield replaced, which I'm glad that I got that done. It's taking a long time to edit this video. There's just like certain parts that I need to crop out because I'm just, I don't want it online. So I'm trying not to cut out too much. This video is already gonna be live like by the time you're watching this. So if you guys missed the truth of drink, definitely go check it out. Uh, we do spill a little bit of tea and it was really fun, but this is not like my typical type of video that I post, so it makes me like a little nervous. I'm so hungry. I haven't really eaten properly today. I feel like I should just order something now though. I'll probably do that. Literally the most random timing, so I just went down to get my Uber Eats. I just got a Quiznos sub, but when I was waiting for the guy to drop that off, there was a lady there and she had this huge bag of wine for me, but I think there's like a few boxes of wine in here, so. So I'm literally stocked up for the next long while, but I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna check out what is in this bag. Okay. There's three boxes of wine. We have a Cab Sav, a Rosé, and Laura actually brought over some of hers yesterday, so I think I have a box of this already in my fridge. Um, and also a Pinot Grigio. So a white, a red, and a rosé. I have a fitness assessment at the gym today. I kind of wish I canceled. The lady wanted to reschedule and I offered, but then she ended up keeping it. But I'm just tight for time today. And I just wish I wasn't going to this right now. Oh my gosh, like my phone's going off. I need to leave right now. Where's my phone? home it's 1 30 now i think i'm gonna have to do like early morning classes because doing a class in the afternoon or like late morning just takes up such a huge chunk of your day oh my goodness 
I look out my window and immediately see a naked woman. Um, the thing is, you can do whatever you want in your house. It's just so weird that, like you must know that people can see you. Maybe they just don't care. But yeah, that whole gym experience took me four hours because it takes like 20 minutes to walk there. Um, I had my assessment and then there was an hour after the assessment um, before my class. So I just got a smoothie. I edited a reel that I posted, so I actually like got some work done at least in between. Then I did my class. This a piece of hair, this little loop. What's going on here? On the way home, I stopped by this little cafe and I got this tea. It's so good. I think it's a hibiscus tea. I also got a panini. It's like apple, ham, cheddar. Besides my smoothie, I haven't eaten anything yet today. So this is like my lunch. I need to post the truth or drink and I'm cringing. And I'm just like, who's gonna watch it? Are people not gonna like it? I need to stop overthinking it. I just need to post it. I, I'm overthinking at this point. I'm gonna set that live right now. Oh, I just, I have so much to do right now. So let me just get that done and then I'll like regroup. <music> do not know where Tika is right now. Is she on the bed? Oh, there you are, Tika. Oh, that's so nice. That's a good girl. I feel like this week I have been the worst vlogger. I haven't edited any footage yet, so I don't know like what I filmed. It's 11.30 p.m. on a Friday night. I wanna do nothing this weekend because I'm so exhausted, but I did see a friend tonight. Honestly, we kept it pretty chill, but we had some red wine. We hung out with our dogs. It was like pouring rain. We sat on a patio and it was raining and there was live music and it felt like we were in Paris. Honestly, it was quite nice. She gave me a gift and I didn't even open it. How rude of me. I think it's wine. Oh, monster vineyards. This is actually a very pretty bottle. I've just been living in the moment and I just completely forget to film. But like I said, it's 11 p.m. and I almost want to bake cookies right now because I want a cookie with my coffee tomorrow morning. I ate the last cookie tonight. FML, I was actually gonna do it, but I don't have enough butter, so I can't. There's my answer. Not meant to be. It's Saturday today and the weather has cooled down. It's just like a very like, chill, cloudy day today. I'm honestly very happy about because I just want to have a slow, chill weekend so i'm heading out to the grocery store right now i need to get a bunch of food and then i think i'm gonna do some cleaning get some school done just have like some me time because i've been pretty busy these past couple weeks just like seeing friends having a good time getting house stuff done so i'm just gonna chill um also i just got these glasses from amazon and um i kind of like them Oh, I'm actually seeing Steven after the grocery store because he's looking at an apartment and I'm gonna tag along because I wanna start looking for a place. I'm not gonna be moving right away, but I just wanna get a feel for what's out there because the next place that I move into, I wanna own. Yeah, so I'm just putting some feelers out there, interested to see what he's looking at. Great for one or two people. Yeah. Uh, the cabinets are made locally. Hi, Tika. So nice to see you. I finally got my hands on the leap limoncello i don't know why i'm struggling to say this word but anyways i've heard good things about this flavor and i also got the key lime so far i only like the grapefruit but i've heard good things about these ones and these also like we didn't used to have these flavors until recently so i got those oh no strawberry i also got more zevia so i'm very stocked up on carbonated waters i already started eating these crackers because i was so hungry in the car and they're actually pretty good it was like two for seven so i decided to try them out i got just like the salt one and then this is herb and seed i feel like these would be really good dipped in like some sort of dip i also got my crunch master crackers i love those some bread this is the sprouted power or the big 16 from silver hills got some baby bell cheese some more butter siggy's yogurt just the plain, some grass-fed cheddar cheese, a few bananas, some more of my favorite pastas made from chickpeas. And then produce-wise, I just got Brussels sprouts, some local strawberries. These are probably gonna be so good because they're in season now. Just one avocado, some sweet potatoes, and what's the last thing? And a couple tomatoes. So that is my haul. 
and now I have to figure out what I'm gonna make for food. I need to like make a meal schedule for myself and like do a little bit of meal prep, I think. Yeah, I just need to do like a little bit more planning so that I start eating properly again because for me it's just like lack of planning, being lazy is when I'm not eating well. We just got back from a walk and hanging out at the beach for a little bit. I also tried the limoncello flavor and this is so freaking good. I still need to try the key lime, but I think this might be my new fave. Very delish. Okay, I need to make dinner now. I don't know what I'm gonna make, but I got sweet potato. I have chicken.